Hello friends, welcome back to D6 of Let's Color with Crayola. Let's color this beautiful flower. I am planning to color this in indigo, ultraviolet and lilac. So let's start with indigo. This is my shadow area. I'm so sorry, yesterday and day before yesterday, my mic was not clear. The audio was a lot jumbled. So it took me two days for the new mic to arrive. Hope it's better today. quite cold here and I feel that when it's cold the pencil doesn't perform that well I think the pigments are a little frozen this is ultraviolet this is my mid tone Did any of you try the Vaseline method, dipping your pencils in Vaseline? Did it help? Please leave a comment in case you felt that it was a good tip. This is lilac. So I searched the internet and saw a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of colorists had recommended i think i forgot to put ultraviolet here yeah, my mid tone here it's fine winter is here and it's very cold I don't like to switch on the heater in the house it gives me a headache I get migraines when I switch on the heat so I prefer to wear two jackets socks and a cap inside the home so my hands are freezing but still I love the winters so I'll come back with the indigo I want a little dark I want to darken the dark areas more these are the shadow areas where the shadow of this petal falls on this petal so i would like to darken them a bit more Oh 
go now i'll bring my mid tone which is ultraviolet ultraviolet here and then just blend this a bit i'm pulling the dark blow the indigo a little bit towards the middle now i'll blend everything with lilac if you want the darks to be very dark you can leave the dark sh uh, the shadow area you don't need to go over that with your lilac so that way you'll have better contrast there you go so this is done let's color the leaves for the leaves i have pine green green yellow green lime green and yellow so let's start with pine green The reason I take so many greens is that pine green is very dark, yellow is yellowish and very light. So I need these many transition colors so that the transition is smooth. Otherwise you will have lines where you can see the transition. This is green. I am growing going, going over the pine green and pulling it a little to the middle so when I go here I use a lot of pressure but when I come to the middle I ease my pressure now I'll use yellow green Now lime green Now comes my highlight color which is yellow. I'll go over the dark areas again with pine green. These are the shadow areas where the shadow of the leaf which is on top it hits the it blocks the light for the leaf at the bottom so it will be a little more dark you can use black as well but this is a very small picture so I'm not using black
then I'll go over with green that's it now let's do the background for the background I'm using just a little yellow unmellow yellow and yellow so I'll use no sorry I'm using daffodil and uh, unmellow yellow daffodil is the darker color I'll use it on the outer ring and this is unmellow yellow I'll color the inside of the circle with unmellow yellow which is the lighter yellow okay so now for the center part of the let's use pine and yellow so this is pine green pine green pine green again here pine green here and now yellow set now these this is very small dots I don't think I can do it with pencil so I'm using my A and well tip water-based marker I'm just going over the sound small circles with these marker pens is it recording here yeah. and I'll go over the in a circle with the high this is my white jelly roll pen gel pen So this is the closer look. It's all done. Hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching this. Do let me know how do you like this flower. Please let me know in the comment section. Happy coloring. Have a great day. Thank you.